Terra to Lovers levelling up alongside. I knew in the plumbery the way he felt that he was pretty much right up there. The Cup Champs 2014 campaign is underway and he seems as good as ever given his indifference to rated opposition at Invercargill recently. Terra to Love on the outside, too good. Terra to Love puts the head in front, beats Art and Rooney. He had every opportunity to beat me really. He got it pretty easy for the first round and uh, you know, I sat parked for the last mile, so it shows you how good he was. There's a lucrative autumn race season ahead for Terra to Love, especially in Australia. But the camp is conscious of his lesser reputation over there. You know, it's just a shame that he probably hasn't gone better over there, but I mean, I suppose he can't be on top of his game his whole life. He finished at the tail of the field in the Miracle Mile on his last visit, and it seems paramount to the team to right things across the ditch. Running on, and Terra de Love's last of all, about five lengths off the leader. Trouble is, the Kiwi can't get to grips with Menangle, the speed circuit just out of Sydney, that's home of many of Down Under's marquee events, and where Terra has yet to win in half a dozen tries. And further back in the race to finish last in was Terra de Love. Oh, he obviously has problems over there with his feet and, um, you know, the track's so hard and it's not, not a soft surface. Um, it's a whole lot of stones on a concrete surface and he just doesn't enjoy the track at all. Uh, yeah, I think you've got to uh, listen to what the trainers over there tell you, really, and they obviously shoot their horses different for that track by the sound of it. Melbourne has its share of stakes races too, but Terra's bypassed the biggest event there, the $400,000 Hunter Cup, for the Invercargill Cup with just 10% of that stake. Yeah, well, we all know how good he is. It's just Australia haven't seen it yet, but, um, you know, every New Zealand will tell you how good he is. I'll tell you how good he is because I've probably drove more horses than most, good horses than most, so he's, he's just got to get that 100% over there. It's about marketability as a stallion, his next career, and the Terra entourage will have to be in Sydney for the Inter Dominions in March, trying to win it, one, and cement some credibility in the land of the long, cool tinny, too. Doesn't worry me, I, I don't care I hoot it, because everyone in New Zealand knows how good he is, but, um, you know, it's New Zealand me as he wants, it's not, not Australian me as. If not, there's always that race in November. <laughs>